it's me, Miss Julie Vu. Welcome to my channel. For those who have been watching me, I apologize for going missing in action for months. I haven't made a video since last year, so I do apologize. I miss you guys so much. If you're new to my channel, hello. I was recently on Big Brother Canada, and yes, I was the first one out, but Ugh, as a super fan, I have so much to say, but keep in mind there are some things that I cannot talk about. I am still under contract, so I'm sorry, but I will try to explain my experience on the show with you guys today, and then I do have some questions that I will be answering at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that, but let's jump into the video. For those who don't know what Big Brother is, basically it is a game show, a social experiment with random people put in a house. You are not allowed to have any contact with the outside world. There's no TV, there's no phone, there's no friends, no family, nothing. The only people you have are these 15 strangers in a house and basically you compete in different games, trivia and all that stuff to win power and to advance in the game. And each week somebody gets evicted from the house um, and it is discussed within the household. The reason why it's called Big Brother is because somebody is always watching. There's no place to hide because there are over a hundred cameras, a hundred microphones, you are being watched 24 seven, zero privacy. You are supposed to plot, plan, lie, cheat, deceive, backstab your house guests to further yourself in the game. It is a lot, okay? It is a pressure cooker environment and a lot of people do not understand that. Um, you have no distractions, you are in this house and it's like, it's a lot, everything's amplified. But anyways, moving on to my experience on the show, as a super fan, yes, a super fan, and I feel like a lot of people trip over this information is because, oh, Julie Vu is a influencer. She's this beautiful girl who gets her nails and makeup done. Like she doesn't watch Big Brother. She doesn't like to play games. Yes, I do. I'm a normal human being. So people always get shocked that, oh, I play games or, oh, I watch Big Brother. As a super fan of the show, it was just a dream come true to be in that house after watching all of the seasons it was crazy. Like I walked in, I was feeling things, I was touching things, I was smelling the air. I was like, this is so crazy to me, like so surreal. Upon meeting everyone, Brayden went down the stairs and he's like, oh girl. And I was like, oh gosh, I feel like he knows who I am. And he's like, do you make YouTube videos? And I'm like, yes. And he's like, girl, I know who you are. And at that point, I'm like, we have to work together. Like we have to be friends. And we were like this. So Brayden was the only person who knew that I was like a YouTuber, he would seen my videos and all that stuff. But yes, I attached myself with Brayden and Austin, we formed the Dolls Alliance. And then I was really close with Victoria in the house. So these were my three ride or dies in the house. So this season was a little bit different because we were split into two teams, okay? Normally, someone would win the first head of household competition and that person would nominate two people for eviction and then they play for a competition called the power veto so they could save themselves off the block okay but this year was different because two teams competition the team that loses they are all up for eviction which is different from any other year okay so i was on the losing team so six of us were up for eviction, which is so messed up. I would still be in the house if it wasn't for the team twist. It really f***ed me up and I will never get over it. So on Team Defender, we have Kiefer as our team captain. We have Rohan, we have Josh, Jetson, Brayden, Miss Julie Vu, and Latoya. So seven players on each team. So now for the first competition, Josh dropped the bucket first, but he had three top ups. So it was really heavy for him. Whereas I dropped it after one top up, okay? I was the second one to drop, but or I, I dropped after one top up. Guys, it's getting really heavy. Oh. Who'd you give it to? Kyle. I can't. Good job, Julie. Good job, Julie. 
So initially I am the weakest one, okay? Because I didn't have three, I had one top up. My team loses and we're all up for eviction. No one wanted to say a name. Like we did not hear a single name in the house. At this point, I didn't have drama with anyone in the house, okay? We just wanted a name. So when Josh told me Rohan, I'm like, okay, we have a name, you guys. I trust Latoya. I didn't know she had an alliance with Jed and Ty. So when I went home and I watched the episode back, she was in the Expedia room with Ty and Jed, and she asked Jed, who is the weakest one on our team? And he was like, Julie Vu. Who's our weakest person? Julie is Team Defender's weakest link. I don't think she can be loyal. I don't think she can keep her mouth shut. I think she's gonna be a dangerous player. Keep in mind, we were fighting in teams, so we need to keep the strong players around. So it made sense that I had to go because I was the weakest one. We were all thinking that the physical comps were coming and we needed to keep the muscles. Yes, Miss Truly Goose, the weakest link. Let's get her out. I'll break it down to you guys. So, Kiefer is safe. Jetson is physically the strongest person on our team. Rohan held on the longest. Brayden is this bubbly, sweet person that no one wants to evict. Latoya is a strong woman. Honestly, at the end of the day, if you think about it in any way, there was no way that I would have survived. There was no way in hell. Like, I would have gone home 100%. Another thing that fucked me up was Team Destiny not voting individually. Everyone wanted to vote as a team, which messed me up because I had alliances from that team, but they couldn't go against the whole team, all right? So they're like, okay, we're gonna respect your team defender, and once you give us a name, we will vote that person out. Just respect your team. And I'm like, no. But anyways, day three, I will talk about in another video. Long story short, Josh has a meltdown, and then he was the target, okay? I guess initially it was me because I was the weakest link, but then it became Josh because he really ruffled a lot of feathers, okay? So the whole week I was asking everyone, everyone's like, yeah, Josh is going home, Josh is going home. So eviction night, I'm like, in my mind, in everyone's mind, Josh was going home, okay? And then an hour before eviction, Josh starts to pull people in different rooms, and then Latoya is going around grabbing people in different rooms, and I'm like, what is happening, okay? I'm getting this weird feeling that I'm gonna be going home. And then I started asking people, and people were like, Josh is really campaigning. Like, you better start running around and talking to people. So I'm like, this mother So then a flip happened, and I ended up going home. Honestly, it made sense to keep Josh around for another week, because he was a target. So if we carry him into next week, he would still be the target and everyone would be safe. So let's get Julie Vu out right now. She's forming all these alliances. She seems to be a dangerous player and we need to get her out. So they got me out. Uh, Julie, you really want her out of the house. What was it about her that you just didn't want her in the Big Brother house? Julie's social game was incredible. I saw her as the weakest link on our team. She dropped the bucket after the first top up. So immediately I felt that she was a weak link. But not only that, I felt that her social game was really great. And I was looking at all the bonds that she was building. And I was just like, if this girl stays now, mm -hmm. we're going to have a really, really hard time getting her out if she stays. So she needs to go now before people get too attached to her. I did have beef with anyone in the house. I was a little taken back by Latoya because I didn't know that she had it out for me. Like, I didn't know that. She didn't express any kind of weird feelings towards me. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna answer some Twitter questions now. So let's do that. All right, so the first question is by Val at Showmance. Do you see yourself more as a social or physical threat? Honestly, I wish I was given the opportunity to show what I am capable of, honestly. Like give me a obstacle course where I'm running, climbing under things and doing crazy shit. Like I'm good at that. But holding a bucket that's super heavy, like, that's questionable, okay? I would say I'm more of a social threat. If you stayed and won the first HOH, who would you nominate? So I'm going to be honest with you guys. When I entered the house, there were two people that I didn't really speak to a lot. The first person was Rohan, and the second was Tara. Alright, so for those reasons, I would nominate them both. 
but also Rohan was very strong in the competition, so he would be seen as a physical threat to me. The next question is from at Sean Carl Munro one Any regrets? I will say that I do regret being too honest. I told people what I did for a living, and I feel like that rubbed people the wrong way, like me being an influencer, I feel like it has a very negative connotation to it. Because when I got home and I watched live feeds, I was really hurt that people were saying, oh, Julie Vu's an influencer, she has followers, it's okay, she can go home. People were judging me based on my occupation. I deserve the equal opportunity to play in this game like everyone else. So anyways, yes, I regret telling people what I did for a living. I should have been like, oh yeah, I'm a makeup artist, blah, 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 but yes. All right, so the next question is by Sandy L. Brooks. Did you change your opinion of any of the house guests once you left the game and saw them on the live feeds? Yes, and that person is Beth. I didn't know that she had it out for me. I didn't know she hated me. We were friends, we spoke on the daily. She seemed like a genuine, sweet girl. And that's the thing about this game. It's so f***ed up because you really don't know who to trust. Um, but I honestly, 100,000% thought that she was this cool girl. We got along, but when I got home, she was talking smack about me. Like, she hated me. And I have no idea why. And like, watching the live feeds and watching her like talk crap about like Brayden and Austin, all of those people. Julie, I needed you, God. It really like, messes with you and I'm like, I don't know if I can be friends with this person once the show's over. Like, I just, there's, it's so weird. I feel like there's game and there's like personal and she just did not like me and I just, I don't know. Beth is kind of like a... All right, so the next question is from at Kian's Karma. Would you come back for another season? 100%. I feel like my journey was cut so short in the house and yeah, I was just cut so prematurely and I didn't get a chance to showcase my abilities and what I'm capable of and I feel like I was robbed, right? I have so much to offer still and it was just not enough time for me and I feel like it's not over and it will haunt me for the rest of my life. But yes, I would love to come back for another season. Like just, I can't, it doesn't sit well with me. Like my journey is not over. All right guys, and that is all of the questions I'll be answering today. I apologize if I did not answer your question. There are so many, but don't worry, I will answer them in the next video. I love you guys, and I know I've been rambling on this entire video. I'm sure I left out a lot of information, but don't worry, this will be a series. I'll be talking more about Big Brother, and yes, thank you for all your love and support. Miss Rob Queen here died on the show prematurely, but ugh, what can you do? Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do so so you don't miss a video, but I will see you guys very soon. Thank you for watching, bye.